What happens, happens. What comes, comes. Let us live as servants of God and leave behind the business of being God to God. From the studios of the Ram Cave in the home of the Camellias, I'm Joe Tarosian, and this is the Burbank Faith Virtual Good Morning for January the 4th, 2024. As always, we are praying for our young people, and today we're going to be in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 15 and 16. This is episode number 187 of a ministry without parole. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, this is a kind of, it's going to be truncated a little bit in the sense that I usually write fresh little sermonettes every day, but uh, I was going through my, my stuff this morning because I'm getting ready to go to a rehab appointment with my wife, and I ran across something I had written exactly 13 years ago on this day, January 4th, 2011, and as we go into a new year and we think about you know all the madness that might be ahead of us, uh, it, it was about what can we control, right? What can we control? And, uh, and so that's where we're going to start today. But let's go 1 Peter chapter 2, verses uh, 15 and 16, and we'll get this day started. We're not getting the rain that we got last year at this time, but we are getting the cold weather, which um, we're hovering around that 60 degree thing, and it seems like we're going to be here for the next week or so. I love it. The colder, the better, right? Uh, if climate change means colder... Uh, then I'll take it, right? Of course, you know, everything needs climate change. I broke the lead in my pencil uh, earlier uh, this week, and that was climate change, you know. So anyway, I digress, and I'm being too snarky here. All right, First Peter chapter 2, verses 15 through 16, and let's get to it. This is Peter talking, general letter to the church. For it is God's will that by doing good, you should silence the talk of foolish men. Live as free men, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Live as servants of God. And uh, that struck me. There's a lot of stuff there in that passage, right? Uh, doing good, you should silence the talk of foolish men. Don't abuse your freedom as a means to cover up evil. All those things are the, are the, are the front runners there. And it seems like the subplot, the subplot of this passage is, oh, by the way, live as servants of God. But again, that's the one that got me because as we go into a new year, uh, you think about all that could be in front of us, everything that is that's hanging around there. Kelly McCoy from San Leandro. All right. Thank you, Kelly, for clicking on this morning. Be sure you're driving safe. But what can you control in 2024, right? You can't control the weather. You, we really can't control famine, flood, or war. There are so many moving parts in life, uh, so many things outside of our grasp, all too impossible to control. I can control my actions to a degree, but even my actions will fall victim to some compulsion or habit. Fatigue will wear me down. Fatigue will wear us all down. I can control my thoughts, but a key phrase introduced at the precise moment can bring me right back to a flashpoint of anger, laughter, joy, or despair, right? This can be manipulated like our diets to produce short and long-term positive results. But remember, it was the author of the complete book of running, Jim Fix, who died of a heart attack while running. Meanwhile, the 500-pound couch potato can demolish bacon, bur bacon burger after bacon burger with a side of fries, animal style of course, <coughs> with gallons of root beer, and just keep on trucking, right? A dedicated worker will make sure he punches or he or she punches a time card for 30 years, never be late, always work sick, and will think in terms of the company first, but when a new technology surfaces, the dedicated worker will be shown the door. Don't want to argue with my friends, kids, or spouse, but no matter the effort, there always seems to be a time when I argue with my friends, kids, or spouse. I can't really control anything. When I, watched, uh, when I watched the team of my youth, right, lose a football game, it's amazing how my emotions can get control of me. And I always seek to control those things, but during the game, I stand through the commercials. I question the play calling. I'll do crazy things like get out an old lucky shirt or hat. You know, if I find an emblem of the opponent, I'll, I'll throw it out or do something to it silly. But I get angry, and then I feel incredibly stupid. So again, the question comes, 
how much can you control, especially when you see all the weird stuff that's coming our way? Some of that stuff was out last night. How much can you control? Considering all these things, I'm reminded again of how fallible I am. And <laughs> there's no sex, drugs, or rock and roll involved in any of this. I just can't control everything. And I can't completely control anything. To have control simply means you run the show. The start, the process, the finish, the agenda. We can kid ourselves and pretend we actually have everything wired, but the truth is very different. The scripture above is nice, it's neat, it's cool, it's great, all those things. But it's that last line, live as servants of God. Because of the age we live in, because of our gadgets, because of our mindset, of the mindset being pushed at us, we believe we really should have total control. Or is it for no reason our telephones uh, uh, do everything for us except take out the trash? Even Christians fall into this trap. Yes, of course, we are to live self-controlled lives, deferring uh, immediate gratification, but that falls under discipline. As believers, we should be living as servants of God, not so worried about what might happen or what may come or what the outcome is, but pleasing our Lord and Savior with our obedience. We cannot control everything, but we can discipline ourselves to live as servants of God. If I had all the answers like I did between the ages of 15 and 18, this wouldn't be an issue. But I don't have all the answers. I don't have control. Man, I can't even tell you the number of hairs on my head. But with the right focus, I can live as a servant of God. What comes, comes in 2024. What happens, happens in 2024. But for us, let us live as servants of God and leave the business of being God to God. Amen? Amen. And this is the example we show for our young people to see. This is the example they need to see. And this is what we want for them. It's what we want for ourselves. And it's the reason we will win because we live as servants of God. We can discipline ourselves in a lot of areas of life, but let's discipline ourselves in knowing that, you know, God is God and we cannot be God. And the business of being God belongs to him. So in the meantime, as we go through the months, the remaining 361, 66 days or 62 days of 2024, let us live as servants of God. Amen. Amen. And folks, when we do that, that's why we'll win. So let's be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 31.6. All right, cool. <clears throat> Just want to get out the prayer list here. A name I forgot to mention yesterday uh, that I brought up at the end of last week was Pastor Phil Reed. Phil Reed used to pastor the Monrovia Church, the Monrovia guy. Um, and uh, actually, Phil Reed, if you ever heard his voice, you know I've heard this guy's voice before. He used to work at KFWB. He does have one of those God voices, those deep voices. And uh, he's retired, but he's had a series of minor kind of heart attacks these last three weeks over Christmas. He's home now, uh, and uh, he's resting. But if you keep Pastor Phil Reed, great mentor to me uh, through the years, uh, and great encourager, uh, but be in prayer for Phil and his wife, Carol, uh, during this time, and we'll keep you updated as best. Uh, I want to thank Jan Hart for reminding me of that because we had not mentioned it yesterday. Okay, uh, we want to continue to pray for Wayne Lindsay's family uh, as Wayne Lindsay passed over the weekend. Continue to pray for them. Uh, the individual named John, who has uh, dementia, and his family is asking for healing prayers to reverse it and that the doctors also could find a solution. Uh, we're praying for Tammy Voschel, uh, the, the youth pastor, teacher who battled cancer this past year. We're going to continue to keep her in prayer. Uh, and of course, uh, the McCormick family, Mrs. McCormick, who has the intestinal issue uh, that's causing a lot of distress, be in prayer for her. She lives in the Inland Empire. Matt and Krista, mass with the mass, Matt with the mass on his liver. Uh, his next uh, his next uh, testing and post is been postponed till January the 11th, so a week from today. Uh, with all that, they've been waiting on this since the first week of December. Uh, be in prayer for Matt and Krista and Matt's mother-in-law Jenna Griffin 
as they they are looking for answers. And um, so, uh, Christine Salamis, uh, her surgery is pending. Uh, Anthony Huerta, broken ankle. Uh, we know he's still in the boot. Continue to pray for him. John Strickland in North Carolina. Bill Alajaji, Roxy Clark, Jay in Pasadena. Rafi, our neighborhood boy. Frank Griffin in Arizona. Richard Stewart in Las Vegas. Jan, our 88-year-old Marine. And of course, Piper Morris and her son Grayson, who has crab leukodystrophy, and they are in Idaho. Those battling cancer, we've added Michael Gutierrez to this uh, list. And Michael Gutierrez has a rare form of blood cancer, and we want to continue to pray for him. Stella McCoy, Kelly's mom, uh, as, uh, as she has been moved into an assisted living facility. Kim Dedini, uh, Dion up in Oregon, uh, Colby, Tim Burns, the great Tim Burns in NorCal, and Kathy who's battling breast cancer. Obviously, we pray for Vision Paradise, Pastor Walter, Pastor Francis, Edgar, and the group there, Burbank Faith, and our ministry is going on at Burbank Faith, the health of our people, the leadership of our board, the blessings that have been given to us, and the new challenges. And for, for 2024, our challenge is, is taking care of the, the loft area that we're, we're footing the bill for that. So if you can be in prayer for us in that, um, we would greatly appreciate it. And uh, also for our future Armenian ministry, which we've done some reach outs. We think we got some connections, but nothing's happening the way we want it to happen, like right away. Uh, so we're trusting God's timing and we're just going to keep on praying. Uh, we're also praying for Granite Ridge Home Camp, the start of a new year. Uh, and in a few weeks, we get kids winter camp. And so uh, thank you for keeping Granite Ridge in prayer, keep the staff in prayer and all that is coming in 2024. And as always, we are praying for our young people as uh, they are getting ready to go back to campuses probably at the end of this week, next week. Let's be in prayer for them and uh, the voices that bleed over, right, from the spiritual realm that have influence on our young people. And uh, we, we need to be the example. We need to be in prayer because as we said at the start of this show, at the beginning of last year when we started doing this, um, our children, every time they're taking to school, every time they hit the campuses, and even whether it's a private school or not, it's like being landed on, in a spiritual battlefield that's kind of like uh, Normandy Beach. And you think I'm using hyperbole there. When you think about the hell that is being preached to our children and taught to our children, it, that's not a hyper, hyperbole at all. Um, we need to be in prayer for them. And uh, uh, and so um, that's why this was the whole gen that was the whole genesis of, of doing this. And uh, those of us that have influence on them, we need to be the examples and we need to be the ones that model the faith. Amen? Amen. All right, let's pray. i um, about to cough here. And uh, we'll get you guys out of here. Lord, we do thank you again for an opportunity to be here, Lord, and for those that click on now, that click on later. Lord, I thank you for Kelly. You know, I see Kelly every day, and I know other people have probably clicked on, but Lord, keep him safe on the road. Uh, as he joins us every morning, him and Didi um, up in Reno and all the places they go to. But Lord, we ask for our young people specifically this morning, Lord, that they would be prepared to go back to the campuses, Lord, and that you would go ahead of them on those campuses, Lord, and do great damage to the enemy, Lord, um, that, that fraud would be exposed, Lord, spiritual fraud, truth uh, uh, would be um, revealed, and that our young people would develop a discerning heart. And that, Lord, they would see no hypocrisy in those who preach the gospel because we live this gospel. We live as your servants, Lord. And, uh, Lord, give us the strength. We know we won't be perfect, Lord. But give us the strength, give us the will, give us the desire to be the best influence we can on our young people, Lord. Protect them, Lord. Guard them uh, from the voices that spill over. And, uh, Lord, those that, that repeat the voices that spill over from the spiritual realms, Lord, take away their platforms, Lord. Shame them. Um, yeah, Lord, we say those things uh, because uh, these are our young people. Lord, this is a gift you've given us, Lord. You've asked us to steward them. Lord, let us steward them in the faith to the best of our abilities. And Lord, we ask for the other needs that have been placed here, Lord. Uh, we went over them. So Lord, we just lift up their names to you. We think of Phil Reed, Lord, in his household, Lord. We think of Wayne Lindsay, who's gone on to be with you, but we think of the family that's been uh, left behind, Lord. We pray for Wayne Lindsay. Lord, we ask for uh, John and his dementia and his family's prayer request for his on his behalf for health, Lord. We pray for Mrs. McCormick, Lord. We pray for Matt and Krista and what they're waiting for. Christine Salmas, Lord. We pray for Anthony Huerta, John Strickland, Bill Alajaji, Roxy Clark, Jay Sturgeon, 
Rafi, our neighborhood boy. Lord, we ask for Frank Griffin, Richard Stewart, uh, Jan, uh, Piper and Grayson up in Idaho. And those battling cancer, Lord, we pray for Michael Gutierrez, Stella McCoy, Kim Dedini, Dion, Colby, Tim Burns, and of course, Kathy, Lord. We ask for them. Lord, we pray for Vision Paradise, Pastor Walter, Pastor Francis, and the gang there, Edgar. We pray for Burbank Faith and all the things that are on our plate, Lord. Find us faithful, Lord. Uh, and of course, uh, future ministries, an Armenian ministry at 505 South 6th Street to round out that roster there of using that space that you've set aside for us for 100 years, Lord, to uh, close to 100 years to preach the gospel, Lord. Let us be the best stewards we can be in our time. And Lord, we also pray for Granite Ridge, for Home Camp, Shea Stewart, uh, and all the leadership up there at Granite Ridge, Lord. And, and uh, as they go about their day-to-day, -day, Lord, that they would recognize that they are, they are uh, preachers of the gospel in how they serve and how they host, and that those folks that step on that campus, Lord, uh, this year, Lord, that they would be overwhelmed by the, the presence of your spirit and that uh, you would do amazing things. Lord, uh, we uh, thank you for, for Granite Ridge, Lord. We thank you for the people that are here at Burbank Faith Virtual. Thank you for our churches, Lord, and we thank you for this community, Lord. Hear our prayer, find us faithful, and give us a blessed day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, hey, I only went 16 minutes and 30 seconds there. How about that? Mike Picard, good morning from Idaho. Uh, I imagine the cold has set in up there. If it's cold in NorCal and Nevada, Mike, I imagine it's cold up there in Idaho. Okay, guys, I got to go because I got to get my daughter, my daughter, my wife to a doctor's appointment and a rehab. So uh, God bless, take care. Please hit the likes, uh, hit the hearts, uh, hit the share button, leave comments keeps us in the algorithm. Okay, folks, God bless, take care, and we will see you soon.